What is going on, squad? And it's G. First and foremost, would like to apologize for the long pause in videos. I had a major setback. I did move to my new place, but expect videos to be coming out at a much faster rate because I do have a, a better internet. And yeah, back here with another Madden 16 career mode video featuring Escobar Sanchez. You see our record. We are number one in the NFC conference. Followed by the Green Bay Packers and the Seattle Seahawks, who we beat this season. And you take a look at our last four games. We have the Lions, the Buccaneers, the Seahawks, and the 49ers. All four of those games will be covered in this episode, especially the last two games, which are division rivals. Nick Foles is already out here throwing picks. The game barely started and Nick Foles is already throwing picks. Makes no sense that the playoffs is this near and Nick Foles cannot, cannot stop turning the ball over. So you would think that Nick Foles would learn his lesson. Well, on the very next possession, the first play of our next possession, that is an interception thrown by Nick Foles again. Tully comes up with the interception. So we decided to stay away from the passing game for a little bit. And we leaned heavily on Trey Mason. Which wasn't a bad decision because on this first and goal, he does get the touchdown. Which is his first rushing TD of the game. And watch the dance move. Watch the dance move by Trey Mason. That wouldn't be the last we hear of Trey Mason's name. On a second and goal, late in the third quarter, Trey Mason gets the handoff and rushes his way into the end zone for his second rushing TD of the game. So we leaned heavily on that rushing game, which proved benefit as we did win the game 38-17. to We did struggle in the passing game, but that was pretty all right. We did come away with the win. So it pushes our record to 12-1. Which leaves us on into Seattle. We got a team that just lost against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And you have a team in the Seattle Seahawks, which is doing pretty well. I think at this point they were at a three-game win streak. So the momentum was high. They are playing on their field. Mark Barron trying to trying to pop, trying to pump up Robert Quinn and Aaron Donald, Chris Long, the whole defensive line trying to pump them up, and there goes Pete Carroll. So at the start of the possession, our possession, we already find ourselves down by seven. So on a first and ten play, a poorly thrown ball by Nick Foles gets batted down by Bobby Wagner. We do complete that pass on second and ten, which brings us to third and eight. And Nick Foles gets sacked by Michael Bennett. So we go three and out that ball, right? Now we find ourselves down by 14. So we have to score this drive or basically the game's over. On the third and 11, Nick Foles does find a man wide open and quick, but cannot get the ball to him. So we did have to punt. We do get the ball back, though. But we give it right away. I guess Nick Foles is in the Christmas giving move and just gives the ball right away. So there was no point in even showing this game, to be honest with you. Because even though we did score 19 points, we scored that in garbage time. The Seattle Seahawks literally kicked our asses this game, which is pretty scary because we, it, there is a small possibility of us playing them in the playoffs. Even though we will get the home field advantage, still, it doesn't matter though. A win in Seattle would be nice. But we do have another chance to redeem ourselves, especially Nick Foles and Escobar Sanchez. 
in Levi Stadium against the San Francisco 49ers. Third and one at the 20 yard line. Nick Foles decides to go deep up top to Escobar. Fourth receiving touchdowns this season breaks the record. What a what a what a what a what a rookie campaign for Escobar to be undrafted and to have the St. Louis Rams pick him up and to play at an elite level like he is this season. And there's so much room for him to grow. It's an awesome feeling as a now into the second quarter, find ourselves up by seven. First and ten at the 30-yard line. Might as well just pass out to Escobar. He's having a hell of a game. Pretty hot right now. He has hot hands. And on the third and six, Nick Foles decides to go to his number one target, Escobar, with the possession catch. Six receptions for 68 yards and a touchdown. Third and eight, finding Kenny Brick. Well. Thought he found Kenny Brick for the slant, but Kenny Brick did get the jar loose by a defender. We settled for the field goal, giving us the 10 to 0 lead. With just a barely, with just barely amount of time left in the first half. Watch Nick Foles with the, watch Nick Foles with the speed. 99 speed Nick Foles doing all he can to move the chains. And on the second and seven, hitting Jerry Cook. Cook bought the cook. Cook bought the cook. Shout out to QJB. Second and 14, going up top to Escobar. And Escobar is just monstering everybody, isn't he? Escobar is just doing all he can. And now he just surpassed the 100 catches in a season. And why not reward him with another TD pass from Nick Foles? Hitting the Nene right there. I mean, you, you gotta love it. You, you have to love it. I mean, this guy is just balling. So now late into the third quarter, up by 17 points. A huge statement by our offense and our defense. Nick Foles throws a dot to J-Rod Cook. And he finds his way into the end zone. Basically, this game's already over. We won. We won. Up 27-11. But we are still, still trying to score. We are savages. The St. Louis Rams are savages. And we don't care. We do not care. If we could, we tried to put up 100 points in the game. First and goal, just just, just keep throwing TD passes to Escobar Sanchez. He already broke the record. Make that 26, 26 TD passes for the year for Sanchez. Party is officially and he's over. not and done yet this episode. He's not done yet. Probably the best Ricky Rod receiver in NFL history. Maybe when it's all said and done, he probably could be the best wide receiver to ever play this game. So what a statement heading off into the playoffs. We do get the bye week. We do get home field advantage. And as for who we're playing next, I got to keep it a surprise. If you guys want to know who we're playing next, just, just watch the next episode, you know? 
I mean, it's not that hard to just, you know, click on, you know, my videos when you subscribe. That's if you subscribe. By the way, if you haven't subscribed when you're watching this video, please subscribe. Just, just do it. I mean, I know you guys want to figure out who we play, so just subscribe. Beat the 49ers, 41 to 27. Number one, you see, you see what I was saying about the the Seattle Seahawks. They were 10 and five. They're 10 and five. And now I think after this week they became 11 and five. But we do finish number one in the NFC. We also finished number one in our division. Got the got, got the bye week. We got the home field advantage. Was the number one receiver in receptions this year. And not not too long down the list, we had Jerry Cook with 86. Led the receive led led the NFL in receiving yards. And not only that, but we also led it in touchdowns. I want I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for, for all the subscribers, for the people who comment and like the video. Thank you guys so much. This channel really means a lot to me. That's why I put a lot of effort in my videos. And you guys stay tuned. But as for now, I'm your boy NSG Commentary. Catch you guys later. Peace.